Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will tell you how to add the database feature to your app. The database feature allows you to connect your app with Firebase, further helping you to import or add records in your Firebase account on the fly. Let's see how it is done. Go to our no code app building platform. If you've already created an app, log into your account and go to manage and edit to add the database page to your app. If you've not created an app yet, click on get started to build your app. Here we will show you how you can add the database page. First, enter your business name here and click on next. Then enter the purpose of your app and click on next. Based on the app purpose you mentioned, the system will add certain pages to your app. Now click on save and continue to finish creating your app. Once you have selected the desired pricing plan and installed the app, all of our features will be unlocked. Click on start editing to add the database page to your app. If you see that the database page is already added to your app, click on it. If not, click on View All, search for Database, and click on the page to add it. Existing app users can add the database page into their app exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at all that you can do with the newly added database page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it to what you would like. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon, an outline icon, an image from our library, or add your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and the website. Now let's move to the content section. Enter your Firebase URL here. You can follow our tutorial, how to obtain your Firebase URL and secret key to easily get the URL. Now enter the database name and secret key here in their respective fields. Let's add the records now. Click on Add Record. You will be redirected to Database Dashboard. In the Manage Records section, you can sort records by name, title, email, date of birth, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, interest, phone, and description. From here you can search the records. Click on Import if you want to import a database record from your device. A pop-up window will open. If you would like, you can download a sample file or import a file from here. Once you're finished, click on Close. Click on Export to export a database record. Click on Add Record to add a new record. The Add Record pop-up window will open. Provide all the necessary information such as name, title, email, date of birth, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest, phone number, and description. From here you can upload an image as well. Once you have finished, click on Save. On the dashboard you will see that a new record has been added. Click here to view the records detail. From here, you can edit and update the information of this record. Click here to delete the record. Now let's move to the Manage Table section. Here is your database name. From here, you can turn the display field label on or off. If you want to add more fields, click here. A new field will appear. Select your desired field type. Enter the field name and click on Update Table. Once you have finished, close the window. You will be redirected back to our creator software. Now let's check out Page, Style, and Color Scheme. From here you can change the page element's color, font style, font size, and indent as desired. Mark this checkbox to hide page borders. Once you are ready, click on Save and Continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.